think you live a pretty non-toxic lifestyle, here's nine toxic emotions and what you can learn from them. Bitterness shows you where you need to heal, where you are still holding judgments on yourself and on others. Like drinking poison and waiting for the other person to die. Resentment shows you where you're living in the past. How can you turn the things that you're resentful about into learning experiences? Things that happened for you to learn and get better and stronger. Discomfort is the opportunity to change and do something different. This shows you what you need to be paying close attention to right now. It's important to realize that you're always gonna feel discomfort when you try something new or you grow. This is actually a protective mechanism in your mind. It makes you feel uncomfortable so that you don't put yourself in danger. Anger just shows you what you're passionate about, but it must be temporary. This shows you where your boundaries are and where you feel that there needs to be change made. Anger isn't actually bad as long as it's moving you forward. Disappointment shows that you really tried for something, that you didn't give in to apathy, and that you really cared. The issue is we must move on on from our disappointments. Guilt shows that you're still living under expectations of what other people think that you should be. Guilt typically comes from childhood. No matter how big you are, guilt can make you feel small. Guilt is typically attached to behaviors. So it's like going out to eat and saying that was so indulgent. Shame, on the other hand, we tend to make about us. So being indulgent and then saying, I am destined to always be overweight because I am indulgent. Shame shows you that you're internalizing other people's beliefs about who and how you should be. It shows you that you need to reconnect with yourself. Anxiety shows you that you need to wake up and be in the present instead of living in the past and worrying about the future. Anxiety and excitement have the same physical response in your body. Remind yourself that you're just excited. Sadness shows you the depths of your feelings, the depth of your care for yourself, for others, and for the world. I am not here to downplay any of these emotions. You can answer these questions and you can understand what this emotion is showing you. You might be able to manage it better. I'll always be here to give you ways to think differently.